guys welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Claire this is Polly put the petal on and you know it's a right stinker of a day today pouring down with rain and um, yeah really dull dark and dismal so I've got my twinkly lights on and um, yeah I have got a lovely haul for you today I have got little bits and pieces from Primark one below the one below I should have showed you last week I just totally forgot um, Primark one below a home sense H&M oh I think there's something from Asda too Asda George um, and ASOS um, so that's a little try on the H&M and ASOS um, so let's get on I hope you're really really well and I hope you've had a lovely lovely weekend like I say it's very miserable here today um, yeah really not very nice at all so the first thing i'm going to show you is from one below and i think this was just a couple of pounds guys and it's a clapper board um hollywood production and then you've got you know you've got you can write on it there's your chalk there you've got your date you it does that say scene yeah date scene take camera director production uh hollywood production uh, it's a working clapper board you know that you thingy and snap together and um, um, I've picked it up for my son um, because he is doing screenwriting at um, university and we thought it was just a little stocking filler for him you know um, maybe to put it in his in his room or something if, if, I don't know but put it in his room um, because like I say, he's doing screenwriting at uni. So I thought that was quite a perfect, quirky little gift for him. Um, picked up some Rolos. I don't know, they're small then, Pat. Um, four tubes, not very not very big tubes either. Um, and a bowling game, desktop bowling game. And again, that's a, a stocking filler. And that will have been two or three pounds, um, you know, no more than three, I know. And then this huge, look at that, Milka. I love Milka chocolate. And it's Milka bubbly caramel. A huge bar, that is. How many grams is in it? 250 grams, so it is a big bar. Yeah. Um, that perhaps was two pounds. Oh, and I picked these up from there. Jam Mallows, absolutely love these guys. Does anybody remember them? Absolutely love them. They remind me of um, a lovely, lovely lady who's no longer with us um, called Wendy and she loved these. And they remind me and I saw them and I thought, oh, that's a little bit of a blast from the past. So not not so much of the past, you know, she's she just used to live over there. She was really, really lovely. So yeah, pick those up. Jam Mallows. I'm not sure how many sins is in there, actually. So, uh, oh, I've got my glasses there. Makes a change. Ooh, there's only 50 calories per biscuit. Two and a half sins, that is, isn't it? Two and a half sins per biscuit. I think I might have one of those with my cup of tea tonight. So that was um, one below. I'm going to show you this jumper and these pants and then I'll slip the try on because I've already tried them on and I'll slip the try on but I wanted to show you it's absolutely gorgeous guys really really is it's a long line jumper and I will and this is H&M look at that lovely neckline it really is lovely and then you've got these lovely loose sleeves and you will see that on the try on i do talk about it in the try on so i don't i don't want to i just wanted to see if i could get the true color to you there it's like a lovely deep beige or even a light brown so yeah that's that and and I'll, i'm going to show you in the try on now because i do i do tell you how it feels and stuff and then i've got these beautiful um pleather pleather leggings from um asos but they're miss selfridge um i haven't got the price on so i i will link them but i know these were 20 odd pounds these are so comfortable to wear 
they really are and they're lined as well um and they're of quality they don't ruche up your legs or anything um having said that these are a little bit loose on my legs um since i bought them because um i've lost a little bit of weight since i very first bought them and i got them in a 14 and i got the jumper in a small but i'm going to let you go and um watch that try on now you'll have to excuse the lighting guys because the you know it's such a miserable day and i've got a leak on the gutter i have reported but it's hammering down on my bay window there yeah it's terrible the lighting so please forgive um but hopefully you can get a true representation of that colour, um, which is almost, well, it's a, a beige. Maybe deeper than a beige, actually. But this is absolutely lovely. I picked it up in a small because um, I tried both the medium and the small on and the small seemed to suit me better um, than the than the medium and as you can see it's a it's a long line jumper and it comes right past your bum which pleases me no end um because i haven't got one and it really is beautiful nice loose hem though on on the bottom and then you've got that lovely i think that's quite a nice cuff and then these loose it's so comfortable to wear lovely loose sleeves um and the 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 neckline is quite high up without it being quite high up, if you know what I mean. You know, it's a comfortable neckline, but it's a warm neckline because I feel cold, definitely feel cold here. So it's a really warm um, neckline. I'm over the moon with this. It's really nice and soft. It's quality. Well, it's H&M and, you know, it's quality is really lovely. It really is. Um and that's the knit there um absolutely beautiful and all i've done is teamed it with my i got these from self um i got them from a asos but they are miss selfridge and these are new too i haven't worn them the label's still in them and they've gone a little bit loose on the leg um obviously because i've i've lost some weight but since i bought them because i've had them a while but i've just teamed the jumper you know, because to me, this is a night out um, to a con nice country pub with a roaring fire and stuff. And indeed, that's what I will be doing. I'm not, um, I'm not one for sequins and all that sort of stuff, really. So, yeah, I've, and I've put that on with, put those on with my chunky boots from Public Desire. I love these um, platform boots, Public Desire boots nice pleather trousers and then this lovely just lovely casual jumper i mean you could dress those um leggings up with a nice little heeled boot or even a um pair of tall boots you know knee knee high boots um and a, a nice blazer and a blouse which i might you know but for the occasion that i chose them for. they're a really nice fit and they're super comfy these are you know i'll try to to um link both the jumper and the leggings down below i think the leggings were about 20 odd pounds from asos miss selfridge and the jumper again was 20 odd pounds and that was from h&m but both are really lovely both they really are lovely and i feel comfy you know i'll put my big teddy coat on and off i'll go you know, um, beginning of December, I'm meeting up with some school friends, some old school friends. And, um, you know, we're just going to meet in a nice in a nice pub where there's a nice fire and stuff. So this will be me nice and comfy. Teddy bear coat on. And uh, yeah, I'll be super happy with that. So I hope you like those. Let me know what you think. I love this jumper guys can't recommend it enough really really lovely i didn't see if they had it in any other colors um because i spotted this and i just thought oh yeah I took took both to the uh changing rooms and yeah i chose the small the size small so you really can size down if you if you don't like anything oversized so so let me know what you think of that i absolutely love it I, and i did write to size down i think 
um you know so that's worth thinking about you know so if you if you did want something like that it is definitely worth trying and like i say the the medium was nice of course it was i loved it but then i thought because mm, i'm very funny with oversized oversized stuff and as you can see that as you could see that was you know it was still nice and loose it wasn't skin tight um so yeah i sized down and I, i'm happy with that and it is really really warm absolutely lovely so that was that try on part and now we'll get on oh we're we're going to um home sense now my my son it was when my son was home um not the weekend just gone the weekend before and we went looking for Christmas cups because I told you, didn't I? I'd got my Christmas cup that I got from Home Bargains and I couldn't find one for letters for us all. Um, anyway, I'm glad because my son chose this beautiful cup from HomeSense and it was only £5.99. Just look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is really nice christmas cup and it actually you know it actually can you hear it's fine bone china it actually does um it is fine bone china you can see your fingers through it if you hold it up to the light um yeah it my son it really suits my son and inside the cup can you see you've got your polar bear at the bottom with the trees and stuff well, how beautiful is that when you get to the bottom of your brew well hot chocolate in our case um and it says all is calm all is bright all around the the inside rim and it's absolutely beautiful it's such a lovely cup and for 5.99 i thought that was a steal now this one was a boo-boo because we were looking for a christmas cup um for my daughter and um, my son did pick one up with a dog on and I thought, well, it doesn't look anything like Alf. So we put that back and then we picked this up because it, but then actually on closer inspection, it's, um, you know, what is it? Astronomy. It's an astronomy cup. So it's not Christmas. I mean, it's got the stars on it and it's got a little bit of shine and stuff, but I think I'm actually going to look for another one for her. Um, 4 99 that one was. Um, and that, again, that was home sense. What does it say? I can't see. Um, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered either, could I? I couldn't be bothered, the glasses are there. Nothing changes with me, guys, nothing changes. Um, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just thought when I looked at underneath it, I thought, does it really matter what it says? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I just binned it off. Look at these that I've picked up from my tree. Do you know, guys, I was going to buy a new tree. In fact, I bought the new tree. I ordered the new tree. And I felt so guilty because it was expense that I don't need, you know. And I've already got a tree, so I cancel the order absolutely i did so anyway i've picked these up i don't need a new tree at all i was just being absolutely silly um especially in this climate you know what i mean you don't need to be spending money that you haven't got so i cancelled the i cancelled it right look at those these were only one pound fifty guys beautiful iridescent stars and on the back they glittered so really nice so if they spin around on the tree you know but when the light hits them, they're going to... I don't know whether I'm shouting because I've gone a bit deaf in that ear. When the light hits that, oh yeah. Can you see? Probably not. Can you see? Absolutely. They're going to be stunning on the tree. £1.50 each they were. And there was only those two. So I got the two. Um, I perhaps would have picked up some more had there been any more. Um, so that was um, Asda. And now we're going on to Primark. So I pick my daughter up. These pajamas, Winnie the Pooh. She's just there, so I can't shout. Um, I got these in a 
but she's only a small girl. Um, hang on, let me get my glasses. Uh, got them in a small, which is a 10 to 12, and that's probably too big for her because she is only tiny. Um, but they're gorgeous. Look at them, and they're velvet. But look who's embossed in them. Winnie the Pooh. We love Winnie the Pooh. We really do love Winnie the Pooh. So they're, they're like a skinny and then cuffed bottom. I have to put my arm down because it aches. And then the top to go with, which again, uh, we couldn't get her size. This is... No, this is her size, extra small, six to eight. But it's very um, baggy, you know. But again, you've got the Winnie embossed on there. And then you've got that on there. You've got a hood and you've got this um, top. I can't hold it up, guys. My, I've got fatigue in my muscles. Um, and they're just little splits up the side but you know for coziness um so nice toasty warm pajamas she's a girl that's got everything guys and so it, you know honestly she really has got everything um so i'll stash them off in a minute because i picked up two now it's the first time guys that i have been into Primark and being able to pick up my size in a bra um, first time ever and in a lace bra because I don't like wearing padded bras because they make you bigger than what you are and then uh, you know I just feel as if it doesn't look right um, so yeah nice lace bras nice colours too nice maroon colour and then a nice it's like a very pale pink very pale pink um, colour and these were £12. Um, yeah, £12, but a nice cup. Nice, I think they're actually a full cup. I think they are. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's no, they're not push up or anything like that. I think they're just a nice full cup, so nice and comfy. If you can describe a bra as comfy. Um, and then I've just got some little home bits, guys. It's not very long. This this um, this haul at all. I've got some homey bits though, and I'll show you those. Um, and then I can tell you what's going to be coming up next. Because I have got my work cut out with all this decorating business, you know. Because I've given myself things to do. Um, I've yet to put my tree up. I've got to put the fire, on, the garland on the fireplace, and um, the way that I have designed it, it's going in two pieces. So that will be interesting because I want to see if that will work. Because now I sit there each night and I think to myself, do I really want it like that? But I don't know. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mock garland. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do a mock up, um, and then I. If I do, and I'll sit with it over the uh, over the evening, and then if I don't like it, I will do a one piece garland. Um, but at the moment, it's a two piece garland. So yeah, so that will be for the fireplace. I've got my lanterns to do, um, and I've got my beautiful gold lantern over there. It's still got the poppies in it at the moment. Um, you know that I did for autumn. So we've got lots of stuff. All this. It, this isn't staying like this you know I've just been um getting my trees together and I've still got more to come you know because they're up in the loft I haven't got everything down yet plus I've been making trees as well you know crafting trees as well so yeah I'll show you those though further down the line but that's not staying like that that's just to keep them off this table because his table is getting quite full yet again <laughs> what's new with me so yeah, we've got quite a lot to um, to be going through, you know, decorating wise. So I hope you're going to join me for that. And uh, if you do like this type of content, you know, hauls 
floristry wreath making, dec uh, Christmas decorating, um, food, um, then do click the subscribe button. You know, you're more than welcome. It's completely free and it would be lovely to have you join the channel. So, yeah, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you like this video. So Primark, uh, yeah, you, I've shown you the PJs and the bras. Now, my daughter got a beautiful bottle of perfume, you know, from Primark. £2.50 they are. No, they're £2.00. They're two pounds. I need to put my glasses on. My eyes are bad today. My daughter um, got the green bottle and it smells absolutely divine. Now, I picked up this one. This was the only one on the shelf. So I'm assuming, I mean, out of any bottle of perfume, there was only this one bottle. Now, I'm assuming, now that smells nice, but I'm assuming that they're really quite popular, these perfumes. Um, so this one's called You Got This um, and it's Mandarin, Neroli and Tonka Bean. Hang on. Sorry about that guys, my daughter let out such a scream then and uh, I thought there was something wrong with her. <laughs> yeah, England scored a goal. I think England are playing in the World Cup. I'm filming this on Monday, you're seeing this on Tuesday. What a nightmare, honestly, she made me panic. So yeah, so this uh, Mandarin Neroli and Tonka Bean. I've never heard of Tonka Bean. But it smell, it does smell nice. Not as nice as the green one though. And it needs to settle down because it doesn't smell very nice at first when you spray it. Um, I've picked up these baubles, guys. Now, I used some of these in the lovely wreath that I did um, For the fundraiser for brain cancer with Nikki when I did the um, collaboration with Nikki, um, so I used I used the red ones, didn't I? But I picked them up from um, they're a really good deal, them a pound, aren't they? Don't you think? Picked them up from Primark, pound tiny baubles. I thought I've never seen them in there before, so whether they're new, I don't know. So yeah, so I got them in red, only tiny. I think they must be about two centimetres. So I've got them in red and you've got your shiny and you've got your um, muted. Um, I got them in silver. I got them in gold. And for some reason, the green are £1.30. Um, and there's 30 baubles in each pack. Now the green are really, really nice, actually. Uh, uh, maybe, because can you see they've got that texture to them? So maybe that's what it is and that's what it costs, it, it, you know, maybe it cost 30 pence to do those ridges in them baubles. But um, 30 baubles and the product is made using recycled plastic. So that's good, isn't it? Those tiny little baubles and they are really handy to have in your stash if you're a crafter. Um, they really are. Or even if you've got a little tree, I've got a little tree there that I am doing. Um... I don't, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with it, but I've made some shape in it and I might be doing, I've manipulated it in a certain way and I might be either putting super snow on it or just snow spray. I can't make my mind up, but um, yeah, I'll show you that as I, as I do it. And I picked up this and it was only four pounds, guys. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Now this can go for Christmas decor. It can go for... Um, autumn it can go for just winter after christmas and i think it's absolutely lovely and i'm loving you know i have red settees I, I, I don't know whether i've said it to you before but i've got a lot of red going on in this living room red curtains red red rug red settees red um lampshades so i like to keep things neutral you know i don't know whether i've said it before and repeat myself at autumn time i had you know um I didn't have bright orange pumpkins everywhere because, or, or, you know, um, leaves, bright orange leaves and stuff because phew, I've already got a lot of colour going on in this front room. So I went for natural colours, you know. I've got, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a sneeze there in my nose. So, yeah. Um, so isn't that lovely? Four pounds, and I really am loving the neutral, um, the neutral tones because it just offers a little bit of 
quietness to the already um, strong colours that are in here. I picked this up and I absolutely love it. And I think this was this was two only two pounds, and I'm going to get this out for Christmas. It's like a pine cone. It's obviously only. Um, half a pine cone and it's a tea light holder this is coming out for Christmas because this could stay out again autumn winter Christmas after Christmas absolutely love that um, little pie, uh, pine cone tea light holder absolutely love it only two pounds and it's made of resin um, and then last but not least it's a little house guys it's a little house and it's a tea light holder and it was I can't see. My eyes are shocking today. Three pounds. Gold roof. It's got little stars on it. Cut out of it. And a little window. <laughs> chimney. Working chimney so the smoke can go through there. Um, I love it. I really do. And that three pounds. Three pounds just for that. I think they had another one, you know. I wish I'd have picked it up. So, yeah. But I have got another house, haven't I? What I, I'm trying to get my houses together um, because I've got them all over the place. There's some in the loft. There's some on this table that I took out of my other lantern. Um, there's a couple of wooden ones that I've just made up because I didn't even realise I had them. Um, so I'm going, trying to get them together um, because I'm going to be doing um, a few bits in my lanterns, you know, like I did last year. I had in, in last year in one of my lanterns, um, I had some houses and a and a Santa and stuff. So it was like a little scene, um, and I'll be creating scenes in my lanterns on my staircase and the the gold gold lantern there. Um, sounded like a Chinese, didn't it? <laughs> Golden lantern um, o over there. Um, so that is it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I am happy to be here. I think this is one of my favourite um, videos to do is, is a haul because I can sit here and have a chunner with you. You know, um, I just like, you know, I, I like having a chit chat with you guys. I have had a lovely weekend. I've done very little, but yesterday um, I did very little. Um, I sat with my daughter and we watched The Grinch. I've never seen The Grinch from beginning to end. Um, and I've, it's never appealed to me. But for some reason, I said to my kids this, this year, I want to watch The Grinch. And my son said, oh, no. Um, my daughter came in to me yesterday. Well, I was in the kitchen doing something. She said, shall we watch The Grinch? And I thought, oh, I really must press on and do stuff. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to get these times back, you know, where my kids want to sit and watch films with me. So I said, yeah, absolutely, let's do it. So we were in our pyjamas and uh, we had a, a nice cosy blanket each and we got on the same settee together. Um, even though these two settees, we cosied, cosied up on the same settee together and we watched The Grinch. Then we watched Four Christmases. I don't know why I held two fingers up. <laughs> because it's four. Four Christmases with uh, Reese, is it Reese Witherspoon? Um, and I've forgotten his name, but I really, I, I've watched that twice before. This would be my third time. Didn't enjoy it this time as much as I did the first two times. Um, but yeah, and then, um, and then last night I was watching My Handmaid's Tale. Is anybody watching that? Handmaid's Tale. It's dystopian and I never thought in a million years I would like something like that, but I, I'm gripped with it. I'm just a little bit gutted that I can't um, that I can't cheat and watch it right. Cause, you know, because all ten seasons, I think it's t uh, not ten seasons, ten episodes have been aired now on Hulu, but I'm having to watch it week in, week out on on Channel Four. But yeah, absolutely fabulous, fabulous um, series that is. Um, so yeah, that was my weekend. You know, yesterday I sat watching films and um, I did do a little bit of tidying up because I said, oh, I, can't. I said, just let me hoover up then. And, you know, because I, I feel guilty if I, if I haven't done some, at least something. Um, and yeah, so no decorating got done yesterday. You know, I, I've, I have done my, I've not finished the angel because she needs tweaking. 
literally because I'm, I'm waiting to find my bigger wings that I've got you know she some of you did say she needs bigger wings and I know she does that's why she's that's why the smaller ones are pegged on because I, I needed to get the feel of it but I am waiting to get the bigger wings and then I'm going to put those on um I have taken the underskirt from up and I've just put it as if it's a little skirt around her stand on, but on the floor because I thought to myself actually I spent a long time getting those lights up that skirt I've gone up the skirt with the lights so it shines from up as well as on the out and it's absolutely beautiful if you haven't seen that video that was my last video and the video before that was me hanging my garland on my stairs I'm doing winter wonderland theme um so yeah if you want to go and um watch any of those do feel free to do so um so yeah uh didn't do any decorating so uh, this week i am out with kim on wednesday um tomorrow i may do a little bit of something something in fact this afternoon what i might do is get the feel of that garland on the on the fireplace because I need to start getting things out. You know, my neighbours are going to be talking about me because normally, you know, they know that my lights are twinkling and stuff. In actual fact, one of my neighbours has got her wreath on her door before me. <laughs> normally it's me that goes first. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're all really, really well. I really do. It's been lovely to see you today. It always is. And um, I'll be back. Now, I'm not sure... I could be back. Um, I'm filming this Monday. You're seeing it Tuesday. I could be back. I won't be back Wednesday. I'll definitely be back Thursday. So, yeah, it's going to be Thursday. And I'll see you then. And we'll be doing some kind of Christmas decorating. So, do stay tuned for that. It will be lovely to see you if you do join. And, um, yeah, you take care for now. Take care. Bye.